Everyone loves money. Everyone loves to have a fridge full of food. Everyone loves to live in a nice big mansion. Everyone loves driving a beautiful car. These are all great things. But sometimes we forget, where do these great things come from? Do we earn them all from our own doing? Or is there someone or something above us allowing us to enjoy these great blessings? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-razzaq and al-raziq. كتاب الله دستوري وخير الخلق أسوتنا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم So what do these two names and attributes of Allah Azza wa Jal even mean? Ar-Razzaq and Ar-Raziq Ar-Raziq is the one or basically it can be translated as the provider, the one who provides and Ar-Razzaq is the ever sustainer the one who is continuously sustaining us, sustaining all of his creation. And these two names and attributes go hand in hand as their meanings are very similar, but they complete each other. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who provides for each and every single one of his uh, creations. Each and every single one of his creations, Allah provides for them. Whether it is food, whether it's water, whether it's shelter, whether it's wealth, health, any blessing you can think of, it comes from Allah Azza wa Jal. But the beauty of, the, of, of Allah and His generosity and his, his, uh, his, his providing for us is that it's not just a one-time thing. It's not that Allah Azza wa Jal starts, off, starts us off in life with a care package. You know, these are the tools you need to get going, to get you started. And after that, you got to go fend for yourself. That's not the case at all. Allah is Ar-Razzaq. He is the ever sustainer. He is the one who is always sustaining our, his creation, always sustaining us. No matter what it is, every penny in our bank account, every morsel of food that enters our stomach, every sip of water that we get, every, every time that we enjoy under shelter, it is because Allah Azza wa Jal has allowed us to enjoy these blessings. Now, how does this relate to you and me? How can we benefit from this on a, on a daily basis? We benefit by, by this knowledge and by knowing who Allah Azza wa Jal is, knowing who Ar Razzaq is, knowing who Ar Raziq is, we benefit by this, uh, we benefit from this knowledge by being now able to thank Allah Azza wa Jal because we know where our sustenance is coming from. We know where all these blessings are coming from. So when we know that Allah Azza wa Jal is the one who provides us with, with, with money, he is the one that provides us with food, provides us with water, shelter, and all of these great things. We know that we are able to now give back for His sake. When someone comes asking us for help, we can't be like, Oh, you know what? If I give this away to help this person, then what am I going to feed myself? How am I going to get uh, food back for me? How am I going to get money for myself? This is the wrong way of looking at it. We never got anything for ourselves. Yes, we put some effort in, we put some sacrifice in for sure. But it doesn't matter how much work and effort you put in, you will earn nothing if Allah allows you to earn nothing. That's the reality. That's a principle we have to learn and understand. Allah Azza wa Jal is the one who gives us all the blessings that we enjoy in this life. And if we put our full trust in Allah Azza wa Jal, then He will provide for us the same way He provides for the birds. They leave their nests every morning with empty stomachs, not having anything to feed themselves or to feed their children. But when they come back at the end of the night, they are, their stomachs are filled and they have something to give to their little children. So my brothers and sisters, we have to all understand, starting with myself first and foremost, that Allah is Ar Raziq and Ar Razzaq. When we put our trust in Him, we will never have to worry about money. We'll never have to worry about where we're going to get our food or our water or our shelter. Yes, we have to work for these things. It's not going to come down in a parachute or come down in a golden platter to you. No, you got to work for it. But when you put your trust in Allah Azza wa Jal, it will come. And you will be satisfied with whatever Allah Azza wa Jal gives you, whether it's big or small, inshaAllah. Jazakumullah khair. I hope this video benefited you. Please share it with your friends. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.